Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. Well, this is our last week of our Bible study in this particular study. And I cannot tell you how excited I was to see, and I haven't published comments yet, but I peek at them. And um, and you guys have heard the story of this weekend, so and, and part of last week. And anyways, um, so I'm a little behind, but we're all getting there. And um, I just wanted to say... I am so impressed. So many of y'all have just jumped in there, been committed. You have run the race well, as Paul, as Paul encourages us in his word. And I just thank you. I thank you for your commitment to God. I thank you for your commitment to his word. I thank you for the encouragement of each other, because that's what this channel is all about. This channel is all about us encouraging each other and, and encouraging or edifying each other in God's word. And edifying means that we just lift each other up to God. And so, so many of y'all have been so gracious to me and my family and your prayers over the years. And it is a privilege to know each of you and to pray for you and getting to know new people all the time that join this channel. And it is such a blessing. I mean, I am getting all kinds of people reaching out to us now for this community. And we are a community. We're a group of believers coming together in Bible study. And the Bible tells us, where two or more gather in my name, there I shall be also. So you know, you know that even through the computer screen, <laughs> so to speak, we are together and God is blessing. So um, I am going to, hold on, my husband is home today. Hold on. Well, I was going to shut that. I can't shut that. My husband was home and... Um, he stopped and got me a boba tea. He and my youngest daughter, he took my youngest daughter to her class this afternoon. And he's never been able to do that with any of our kiddos. He was home because of the bee situation this weekend. And I am just so thankful they had the best time. And not only that, the professor made, um, you know, in the auditorium, made, um, asked who he was, asked our daughter, and then introduced him. And so it was so sweet. And so it was just a very special memory for them. And I'm so thankful for that because I kind of like pushed them into it. And because I just felt like the, the Lord was nudging me to like, you know, build for them to build a memory. And, um, you know, when you have your first child, those memory times are always happening. When you have your second child, because our first child was a girl, our second child um, was a boy, um, with the one we lost children in between so our first child and then the and then our, our oldest daughter was born our son and then we adopted our youngest and so each one has special you know places in our family and um, you know they each have these highlights and all of a sudden you get to this last one and you know the years that my parents were so ill and then my um, um, then my parents passed away and everything was just a blur I mean her senior year of high school was horrible I mean, I have to be honest, it was, I mean, it, it, it grew her in such a way that I can't imagine. And God has such a plan for her life. I'm just so thankful, as he does for all of our children. But this kiddo, who was the youngest, the quietest, all of that, just stepped into to jobs that were just huge for someone her age. And she did it without complaint. She just did it. And, um... I, I could never have made it through that without her. Each one of our children stepped in in different ways. And what a blessing that is. I mean, what an amazing blessing that is, right? So anyways, so I, I wanted today to be a fun thing. And then my husband was so sweet. He went and got us. Um, there's a place called Tipioca. And um, I get, this is green tea. Can you believe that? Green tea, I think that they give me, they should be giving me almond. Oh, they did soy. That's fine. And no sweet, yeah. See, so, but isn't that awful? It's green and it looks brown, but that's okay. And then the, the tapioca pearls. And my youngest daughter and I, we love these. So, what a treat it is. So, anyways, my husband knew I wasn't feeling great either. So, he was just being really sweet. So, anyways, has nothing to do with Bible study, but I just want to tell you, if you hear noise in the background, the house is hopping, and my sweet husband, um, he's a he's a, a noisy one. He's, you know, he, he's just that kind of guy. So, all right, let's pray. Let's get started because this is an amazing way to end this particular book. So, all right, let's pray. Dear Lord, we just bow before you and we thank you for today, God. Lord, what a journey this has been. What an awesome opportunity for all of us to spend together, praying for each other, to 
to learn more about prayer, to learn more about that part of our lives with you. And God, as we've all gone through this, and I mean, goodness gracious, when I started this a year ago, even in my own life, you knew the desert that I was in. You knew the valley that we were going through. And God, I'm not going to say that you know everything's like perfectly perfect, but boy, God, what you taught us through this journey is invaluable. It is amazing. It is such a blessing. And God, I just thank you for each and every person here. Lord, each person, I, I get these emails and messages, God, and I just ask you on behalf of each and every member of this channel and the group of ladies, and if we have any men who are in, who are going through this Bible study with us now or in the future, that you would just make yourself known to them, that you would put a hunger in all of our lives for your word and to be in fellowship and prayer with you. God, um, I, I don't even now know what to say because my heart is so full and I just I think I'm gonna close this now so we can get started and we can talk about your word and Lord we just praise you we praise you we thank you we love you God and Lord I just love all these incredible incredible friends on this channel please bless their lives we give it all to you we give you this channel we give you this study we give you everything God in your son's most precious holy name I pray amen Okay, friends, so I am going to stick my notes over here. <laughs> I actually I didn't get that done, and I actually made my little paper for Bible drawing cap. We'll talk about that at the end, and I've actually got it in front of me now because I'll hopefully quit stumbling through it. Okay, so we are in week 52, and um, hold on one sec. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sorry, my daughter brought something in for the trip. So, anyways, we are in, we are in we are on the last week, 52. We are on pages 142 and 143. I'm going to walk us through this. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. I saw heaven, and this is faithful and true. Faithful and true. That's who our God is. Okay, I saw heaven standing up open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and wages war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe, dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. So, let's go back. We go to John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Have you figured out who the Word is? Let's keep going. So that was from Revelations 19, 11 through 13. In the first half of Reve Revelation 19, we see the Lord being worshipped in heaven. Then beginning in verse 11, we get to read a vivid description of His return. Mighty, powerful, our Savior returned Wow, this is the one we worship. It's Jesus, my friends. Jesus is the Word. Okay, search your heart and in the space provided, write out some of the phrases that grab your attention in this passage. That's very personal. So the one I really wanted to work on and focus on was the passage and His name is the Word of God. As a teacher, I would tell you to take your pen and go back and change every he and him to an uppercase he or him. Um... I just can't tell you enough how much I believe that we should honor God in everything we write. It should, it all pronouns should be capitalized because we are talking about God the Son. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. Okay. Write about any aspects of your life that are not revolving around the one who is called faithful and true. Ask God to shift your focus back to Him. The one, the one, the only one who is truly worth or worthy of your wow. So write about the aspects of your life that are not revolving around the one who is called faithful and true. So that's going to be different for all of us. There is no doubt. Um, I have to be honest, there are days I get up and either I'm not feeling well, because I mean, I always have a slow start to the day. I I'm never going to not be honest about that. Um, I was never a morning person, though I do wake up very early. Um, today I went back to sleep because 
when I was up this weekend watching my husband to make sure he was okay, um, things like that catch up with me. It's cumulative. So if I miss a night of sleep or miss even go to bed late, I'm exhausted for a couple of days and that's just my autoimmune system. That's just how it is. And um, because my husband stayed home today, I was even more embarrassed that I kind of slept in, but he was very sweet. I mean, I set the alarm, I woke him up, I woke him up twice, and then I snoozed, and he, you know, and he did some work, and anyways, I mean, you know, he just wakes up and hops on the computer immediately, because he always has to work, but um, for me, that was, you know, that's an area that I am slow to get into the Word, and I was watching so I haven't heard if anybody wants to go into another study. So if you do, please email me privately at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. I know in November we're going to have the Fall Gratitude and Thanksgiving Bible Journaling Camp. We still have a few slots left. Not many. We're filling quickly. Um, but I do want to tell you that, um, you know, I've prayed about it a lot. And maybe we need to wait till January. Um, I'm praying through a lot of different options. So for our group, for our group here, and because um, I know we want to do, a, you know, a seasonal camp. We'll do a winter one. We'll do a you know, spring one and a summer one again. So I, I don't want to take too much away from you guys, your families, or anything like that. I want it to be what God wants it to be. So be praying about that with me. And then the other thing I wanted to say, so areas of my life, I don't wake up right away and hop in the Word. I don't wake up right away and hop into prayer. And I used to always, I used to, you know, I wake up and I hurt. And I wake up and I'm really tired. Now, when I used to just wake up and hurt, I easily remember to pray. Because, you know, that pain makes me go, oh, thank you, God. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's the way I handle pain. I'm always just, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Um, that's why I try to be. And then... Um, I have a place in my home where I count that as like my little prayer closet. And I go in there every morning. I'm faithful as ever. But then lists begin in my name or in my head or phone calls come. And what really happened when I um, took care of my parents, it was always an emergent state. And then after when I was doing all the estate work, it was always emergent. It was like an emergency every day. Somebody had an emergency, whether it was the tax practice or the partnership or the estate. And... And I have to be honest, we were grieving, you know, and I wouldn't even let myself grieve. So, you know, I really didn't. And so I had to think that through, you know, what am I doing? You know, and now, now that life is slowing down a little bit, you know, I, I joined a online Bible study this morning. I'm super excited. Um, and I, you know, I've been talking to the writer of the Bible study and she's just a doll. And um, I purchased several of hers and put them on my Kindle for the trip. So I'm really excited to go through them. And it's like a four-week, you know, they're, they're really quick Bible studies. They're like four weeks. And um, they're literally 15 minutes a day. So for me, I, I'm always very honest about that. I go through things very quickly. And so I'll probably finish them, you know, I hate to say, in quicker time. So um, I figured that this is my prep time. To get ready for the Thanksgiving and that's why I think God brought me to this place and um, you know it's just a time that we're gonna go on this trip and I just feel like and I, and I bought them to put on my my little tablet so I could do them you know or on my laptop because I have them Kindle I can do them on the plane or you know in the car or at night when we get in and I just wanted to change some habits on this trip I wanted to get up in the morning and get into the word and that's really hard to do with my sweet husband because when he wakes up, he's like, okay, come on, let's go. Everybody get a shower. We're out the door. Or, you know, get your shower the night before. Have your stuff ready to go and we're out the door. You know how that, that kind of thing goes. So, um, and I really like to get into my little, my little war room or my prayer closet and, and get into my study. So, you know, that's something that I want to work on better. I want to be more purposeful. I want to be more, um, 
focused on it and I'm going to come back with another video and I'm going to be using this uh, creative diary from Dilutions and I'm going to be doing scripture writing. So I cannot wait. I'm going to do a video hopefully tonight. If not, I'll do it first thing tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon, however that works. But um, I'm going to use this for my daily scripture, daily scripture writing. I had thought I would use the handwriting paper in my Dilutions, but I think I'm going to use this instead. So because it still gives me creativity and then I can write on the other side. So I can still work over here and then write my scripture every day. Um, so come on back because I have some resources that are free if you guys are interested in something like that. And you don't have to have anything like that. You could just use a, a tablet, a free paper pad. You could use a legal pad, a spiral, a composition a book. You could use whatever you want. I just want to be back into the Word in a different way. And I used to be so faithful at writing the Word every day and focusing on the scripture every day and um, memorizing a scripture every week and somehow I got a little bit off the track on that so that's something I want to do and I want God to shift my focus back to him so I pray for each of you that you have found what is on your list and you know I've, I've got my notes here um, it's part of it you can't even read it because I wrote it in pencil I can barely read it but um, but part of that is what I'm focused on. It's getting back in my prayer closet or my war room, getting back into my prayer binder, getting back into my prayer and scripture and, you know, focusing on the word, digging in the word in a very private yet I wanted the accountability of, of purchasing this and knowing that I had reached out to the author. And, um, and it's not any person I've ever really known before. Matter of fact, she even asked me, she goes, how'd you find me? <laughs> and I, you know, it's kind of one of those things. And, um, but a friend, a friend had recommended her a while back and I had emails and all of a sudden I was, I guess I was on her email list and I opened up one of the emails today while I was sitting there with my husband and I thought, that's it. This is where God needs me. So anyway, so I just wanted to share with you what I'm doing. So, and I ask you to pray for me that I would be focused on what God has called me to be focused on as I am committed to each of you. Now, the last thing I wanted to ask you guys was how many of you wrote your letter of encouragement to someone in your life that you're taking what you learned in this particular, you know, weekly prayer project and that you could write someone else and encourage them. And I will tell you, I love seeing the duns. I love getting the private emails. Um, I think it's just a great way to give back. When God gives us something like this, a study that so encourages us each week, um, the first thing we need to do is try to figure out how to give that back to somebody else. So I, um, if you haven't told me yet that you've done it, or you haven't done it yet, that's okay. You have this week, or you have now. After you finish watching this, Go for it. Or do it first thing in the morning when you sit down to have your quiet time. Um, we are a body of believers. When the head hurts, the whole body feels it. Have you ever had that? Have you ever had a broken, like I've broken this hand horribly. My whole body felt the pain of this hand. My head felt it. My heart felt it. The whole thing. My body had all this adrenaline rushing through it when it first happened to compensate for the pain that had occurred when that bone was shattered. So that's how that works. That's how the body works. When somebody else is in pain, when my sweet friends are in pain, I feel it. I mean, I had a oh, just heartbreaking message last night, and I was riding back, and talk about the body feeling it it was like oh my legs hurt my leg hurt for this sweet dear friend here on the channel and if she's listening I hope she knows that and uh, it caused me to immediately pray and I think God does that I think God touches our heart for each other so again write that note of encouragement I really encourage you and then just leave a, a note below, you know, comment below saying done, or email me privately, which so many of you have done. And um, I'm just so in encouraged by each of you. You are taking the word, you're ingesting it, and then you are giving it back. Get that? You are taking Jesus where he is. You are asking him into your heart, and then you are giving it back. You are amazing, my friends. 
So, I close this with a heavy heart. I close it with a happy heart. Um, I was telling my husband and my youngest daughter, we're getting ready to finish a year's worth together in this study. And he was like, really? And I said, yeah. And he goes, wow. And I said, yeah, in light of our lives, yeah, it's really a blessing. And so, if you guys have made it all the way through, whether now or in the future, I'm going to give you my husband's response. Wow, you are doing a great job, my friend. So, keep serving him well. He loves you. Let's pray, and I'll let you guys go. Um, hold on one second. We're praying, baby. We're praying. Okay. Dear Lord, we just bow before you. And we thank you for this study. We thank you for each and every person that has been a part of this weekly prayer project. Lord, all that we have learned, we give back to you. All that have been in this study, God, we ask your special, special blessing on them, whether it be now or in the future. And Lord, I pray that as each and every person completes this study, that they would send me a quick note and just say, hey, I just finished it, or hey, I saw this a year or two later and I went through it, because that is such an encouragement to know that people are in your word, Lord. And I just thank you for that. I thank you that we have the internet and email and all these wonderful tools that you have given us to serve you better and to know more about you, Lord, and to encourage each other in your word. Lord, I give you each and every person in this community, and I ask you to bless them, to show them how much you love them, that they will see how much you love them, and that they will want to know you more and study your word more. Lord, we give you all that we have done this last year, and what comes in the future, we lay it at your feet. And it is our meager offering to you, but it is an offering that is given to you in love, God. And we just thank you and praise your name. Lord, we worship you. We honor you. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, friends. My husband just came in. That's what I was saying hello to. We're getting ready to pray. So come on back. I'm going to share my Bible um, first writing idea. If you're interested in that, I would be glad to share that. I will try to post that first thing in the morning so you get to see um, this tonight and that in the morning or maybe even that tonight. We'll see. But um, all right, my dear friends, you made it to the end. You've run the race well. You've, you've uh, what's the other uh, encouragement hook is this? You've fought the fight. You did because sometimes it's a battle to get these things done. All right, friends, I love you. God loves you. Keep serving them well. All right, friends, y'all take care. Bye-bye.